Yo, yo, welcome back to Underdeveloped. We have episode six of the fifth season of Cobra Kai, Ouroboros. Yes, sir. Yeah. Actually, ironically, there's a supernatural episode named Ouroboros. Do you know what Ouroboros is? No. Well, it's like an old, it's an old mythological thing. I don't really know where, remember where it's from. That makes sense why it was a supernatural episode. <laughs> but yeah, basically the whole point is like, it's just like endless loop of a snake eating itself. Eating its own tail, kind of, usually shaped like an infinity symbol. Mm. That's how it's most often portrayed as. So, basically, just eating, eating yourself to survive, I guess. So oof. endlessly. Oof, oof. Yeah, it's some, it's some shit. So, someone's gonna get fucking hurt. Yep, we're officially over halfway. Yeah, we are. We may have passed that. This is the halfway point. First five episodes are done. Episode six starts okay. now. <laughs> So goddamn, we have private jets. We even had the James Bond fucking. Um, this sounds like yeah, this sounds like a James Bond score. Yeah. You, you know something with the James Bond fucking too. Oh, is that the fucking people that he's talking about? The people you train with. Valley. How was your flight? Last minute. This is too much for fucking karate. Let's go. Limousines and private planes. The sort of extravagance might impress your former shareholders. But it doesn't hold sway for me. I swear this is totally James Bond dialogue. <laughs> that attitude is exactly why I wanted you to teach in my dojos. I need you to see which of my students He's franchising. are ready to take the next step. Mm -hmm. I'm offering you full autonomy to test my students your way. We have to share this style with the world. And you think you're American students, Ratsy Thomas? I do. He's mcdonalds in the fucking karate dojo. We shall see. Bottom is grandfather and granddaughter. Also, yeah, she may really want to go that route. Yeah. Maybe by the last one. It's not the way we hoped. Since it's already even bad night. Just it's on the standing the dojos. It's unfortunate. Is there something else? Yeah. Mr. Lurisso got really hurt. Because of us. That's why I'm gonna be gone. I get out of here, I'll take care of the other. You don't care about what happened to Mr. Russo? It was a means to an end. Oh, I see he hasn't changed. No. <laughs> He's been in prison before, Florida. The shame might change, too. I'm the only one who can trust each other. So how much longer do I have to stay at the dojo? Until you can get out. I know how difficult it is to be behind enemy lines. But I need you there for a little longer. Well, he really hasn't changed eight bits. You do? Yeah. I'm gonna play the good soldier. Which is what I need you to do. So do whatever Silva says. Keep your eyes and your ears open. And smart. Oh, that'll be the opening that we need. Can you handle that? Why are you gonna execute that though? Yeah, that's the very vague. Dude plan. has paper. Dude flies people up in jets and limos. They need like it does a four, Ferrari. Need a four more concrete plan. He's rich. Like, rich. He's richy rich. Bittersweet announcement to make. Since I Terry Silver has made me a very generous offer. Oh, shit. He's consuming all the competition. Yeah. Under new management. We're through. He ain't really gives me big boss villains vibe. Family. Well, thank you, Sensei Rosenthal. I'm sure you're all wondering what this means for the future of your dojo. Yes? There will be some changes. Yeah. All for the better. <laughs> right. And I hope you don't mind your dues getting cheaper. You'll be given a new sensei. For today. Oh. Uh, sensei Kim. Sensei you didn't realize. Mm-hmm. You're replacing me, Terry. 
Sorry. It wasn't the deal we made at Shabbat Services. Hey, See, he was going to do that, and he has a plan. He already have a plan to replace it. Mm-hmm. Losses left. He he has contingencies to make his make that decision concrete. Today, my new senseis will be molding you all into winners, just like our own All Valley Tournament champion Tori Nichols. A lot of things happen with Timothy. How long this episode? Twenty-seven minutes longer. We're only ten minutes in. Twenty-seven minutes. This episode's the longest shit. Hey, Sensei. Yeah, play nice, right? Stop playing nice. One thing that really surprised me was how easy it was to get along with all the other men. So? <laughs> didn't realize you were making friends in here. Yeah, well, I make friends pretty easily. I find that a little kindness goes a long way. <laughs> Such hot air. You know, all prisoners your age have oh. the same experience there. Usually it's the targets. Well, I made a stronger stuff. You could throw me right through a window and I mean, this is like, this obviously trope. They they they've done that many times. Yeah. Adult classes are on Wednesday. We're not here to take a lesson. We're here to teach you one. Where's Terry Silver? What do you want with Sensei Silver? We have message. Gonna beat his ass. <laughs> No, possible. Beat his ass doesn't do anything. <laughs> the nigga has money and influence. <laughs> we gotta beat his ass. No, you need money and influence. He, he, this is not gonna accomplish anything. Nope. Maybe he'll probably use it against you. Oh, he easily could. The problem is that they don't understand the villain. This nigga is powerful, bro. <laughs> In a different way, you know? Yeah, these are, they, yo, these are rich old men. They're not so they keep, you know? Yeah. Bruce and Nick is that makes it. Even Jackie was more agile in this in this film. He's going to go with this dude. How long do you trade with Kim Sung and Dojo? My whole life. Right, she's one of her own. Money shot. <laughs> no. You must be chosen Toguchi. Far from your pathetic little island, aren't you? And I'm surprised to see Daniel LaRusso. So she's the bully for <laughs> So quickly. 
The hell, I'm not Daniel Russo. I look nothing <laughs> like him. Silva must have been for what he's done. You bark like your blonde dog. I do more than bark. Trust me. You wish to fight? To me? I'm pretty sure she'll kick his ass. Actually, I kind of want to see that. <laughs> Good call. I mean, he took two of you to take out that one guy. Yeah. You take over the valley. And Chosen's already a badass in his own right, so. That's saying nothing. And even Johnny is so. Yeah, they're both that's badasses, and they both needed but, to but team up yeah, to take out one. Chosen's a whole other level of badass mm -hmm. than Johnny is. Let's be real. Hey, Sensei. I'm here for my jump cup today. Did you give him here from Lucifer? No. He was one of um, Tyranny's stuff. Little chill, man. Let me clean season four. That's season four. Nope. How the hell is this? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. That was a pointless cuff because I know you don't have a shit for that show. No. Only like probably major, major events. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna remember any every single random actor that appears. No, only one. I was one of the better episodes that involved like you know like K shit because it actually was like a continued storyline and not just like one and done. Hmm. But yeah, whatever. Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> I just don't know what you're saying. I just don't know what you're saying. You 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 don't know what you're saying. <laughs> From now on, you're gonna give me your job. <laughs> you got a problem with that? <laughs> no. No more. No. Since you. Never fuck the elders, motherfucker. Sam and my dad told me what was going on. You know, they're the kid getting the scene again. It's all the mess, mess that happened. It's you been a minute since they've shared a scene. Yeah. And a home. And a purpose. You can't just give yep. up. He was, he was the OG student. Bobby. Season one. Mm -hmm. I did. Jovi, I was... I was just trying to help you. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I mean, I should have listened to you about Cobra Guy. But I didn't understand until I started mentoring someone myself. Now Silver's got a hold on this kid. There's some others in there I care about too, and uh, yeah, the kid's sort of becoming a dick. Mm -hmm. We need to stop Cobra. But I mean, if you look at Hawk had the same kind of, you know, what I mean, he's he's gonna come to eventually. Sensei. Yeah, because that's not him, you know what I mean. Dad, well, who knows? He could be evil as fuck. Who knows? <laughs> that that that's the beauty of it. You don't know. Can he? Can anybody just be an evil shit for all we know? All of us. Yeah. Maybe it's evil shit that's awakening the spirit, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> some evil people start like this, like getting bullied and become monsters, you know? Like you saw a joke at Alice Hibbert's arc, he was a bully dude, and he became one of the greatest monsters of all. Mm-hmm. Aw, uh, all the kids are oh, here. All the students. I swear to God, shit. So what do you say, Dad? Will you fight? Don't let the fucking low thing to go away. Yes, fight Daniel son. Yeah, I love the color house. I love the team. Yeah, it looks nice. So you're going against the field. These dudes are really fighting each other. Like, mm -hmm. Anchor's in jail too, so. This is very dramatic music for this. It's been like this whole season. <laughs> Mad dramatic. <laughs> but I feel like the music especially has been the most dramatic in this scene. Yeah, I suppose, I guess. 
But it's, it'll be, it, like, other scenes, like, before, like, had, like, mad dramatic fucking, like, mad dramatic, like, triumphant, like, uh, orchestra kind of music for, like, uh, every, this is, like, really, it's not that deep, bro. <laughs> but, I mean, but I, I, I'm getting a few feet into the ridiculousness of this show. Oh, yeah. But this show's still really good at the same time. So, sure, this proves that you can have a ridiculous show, but still make it entertaining and compelling enough. Yeah, absolutely, because it just masters that little in-between yeah, space. Exactly, and it, it's really good about these characters. If, mm-hmm. once, you, once you care about your characters in some sort of fashion, you have a hit in your hand. Yeah, and that's one of the and that's one of the benefits of Cobra Kai as a show. It's just it's just filled to the brim with this great characters. Yeah, nobody's really evil or fucking bad. Everybody has their own equal shit on the, every side. But real as a reason, they start to clearly have villains. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They do. They still very clearly do. Now, but like early season, that it was like pretty much everybody had their perspective. You know, yeah. But it was actually really wrong. And I like that because that's very different. Because in mm-hmm. most in most shows or movies or whatever else stories in general. You have a clear protagonist and you have a clear antagonist. That's how the first Karate Kid was, for example. Yeah. But they showed, no, they had a whole side to that. You yeah. Know what I mean? They, they were, immediately contemplate. Exactly. They're like, hey, there's some fucking depth to this. Yeah. And that's what made the show good. You know what I mean? They're building off a concept. Mm-hmm. Shedding light on an old concept and changing the rules. And now, you know what I mean? Just yeah. light. Sometimes it's not something about this just enlightening. It is. It's like, hey, you know, I mean, we know you followed Daniel around for like three movies, but what if he really wasn't all that great? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they were showing Daniel because I get Daniel's point of view. Most of the time, I mean, he was still a clear protagonist because Johnny was kind of a dick, but he never does he was a dick, but he had a lot of reasons, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. From his perspective, he's going after his girl and his dude's in no fucking way, you know what I mean? Yeah. His perspective is anything, you know what I mean? But in the day, she wasn't his girl anymore and she was going after Danny just as much, so. Mm-hmm. Fair, and this guy's in the fucking way. And you're annoying ex and leave her alone. So it's perspective to both. You know what I mean? Yes. Anyways. Yeah, this was great. Yeah, it's good. Good episode. Can't wait to see the next one. We're almost at the end, guys. Mm hmm. Almost at the end. Like, what, four episodes left? Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> ジュゲムジュゲムゴコの擦り切れ怪獣水源の水源末雲雷末風雷末クーネルところに住むところ油工事のブラ工事パイプパイプパイプの修林が修林がの空林大空林大のポンポコビーポンポコのあの長久名の